In 2022, while the world watched the aging International Space Station drift toward retirement, China finished something extraordinary. An entirely new outpost called Tiangong, assembled in just 18 months and now the only fully functional space station circling Earth. Inside, Taikonauts live and work in silent, pristine corridors built for mastery and endurance, not survival. This isn't humanity's backup plan. It's the opening move in a new era, where China's heavenly palace sets the rules above our heads. What is life really like inside Tiangong? And how did it change the balance of power in orbit? The answer begins with a vision that became steel, and the consequences are just starting to unfold. Before Tiangong, the world space stations took decades to assemble. Piecemeal, slow, and often at the mercy of shifting budgets and international schedules. China chose a different path. In April 2021, the Long March 5B rocket thundered off the Wenchang coast, carrying the Tianhe core module into orbit. Less than 15 months later, two more launches followed. Wentian in July 2022 and Mengtian in October. Each module, weighing over 20 tons, was pre-built and tested on Earth, then delivered and docked in a choreography that left almost no room for error. The lab modules didn't just arrive, they navigated autonomously, closing in on the Tianhe core and locking in place within hours of launch. Docking times hovered around 13 hours, a feat that compressed what once took years into a matter of days. The station's robotic arm, guided by sensors and ground control, shifted each module from its arrival port to its permanent berth, forming the T-shaped structure designed for both strength and future expansion. No other nation has completed a multi-module, permanently crewed outpost in orbit this quickly. By November 2022, Tiangong was fully assembled, operational, and ready for its first six-person crew handover, a testament to methodical planning, automated precision, and the relentless pace of China's space ambitions. Step inside Tiangong, and the first sensation is a kind of engineered calm. The air is quiet, never rising above the soft hum of machinery. Ambient noise in the living quarters stays below 60 decibels, about as loud as a gentle conversation. Every surface is smooth, every panel sealed, hiding away the tangles of wires and exposed hardware that fill older stations. The station's lighting is more than a design choice. It's a system tuned to the rhythms of Earth. Overhead panels shift from cool blue-white in the morning to a warm amber glow by evening, guiding the crew's internal clocks through a 24-hour cycle, even as the sun rises and sets outside every 90 minutes. Walls are finished in pale whites and muted earth tones, chosen to reduce visual fatigue and create a sense of openness. There's no clutter. Most equipment connects wirelessly, controlled by tablet screens that let Taikonauts adjust lighting temperature, and airflow with a swipe. The result is a living space that feels less like a laboratory and more like a minimalist apartment, engineered for both efficiency and peace of mind. In sleep pods, acoustic insulation drops the noise even further, offering real privacy for rest or reflection. Every detail, from the filtered air to the absence of sharp corners, is designed to steady the mind. Here, Comfort is not a luxury. It's a foundation for endurance, a silent partner in the daily rituals of life in orbit. Aboard Tiangong, the day begins not with alarms, but with a gentle call from Mission Control in Beijing. At precisely 7 a.m., the crew, Nia Haisheng, Liu Boming, Wang Yaping, and Ye Guangfu among them, wake to soft blue light that mimics morning on Earth. Each Taikonaut moves through a set routine. Hygiene in a compact wash area, a quick breakfast, then a first round of status checks on the station systems. 
Every action, every pause, is part of a rhythm honed by months of training and the knowledge that their home orbits 400 kilometers above the planet. Meals are more than refueling. They're a ritual of comfort and connection. Tiangong's galley includes a world first, a space microwave designed to heat meals quickly and safely in zero gravity. Rice, spicy chicken, dumplings, and even fresh cherry tomatoes from the onboard greenhouse appear on the menu, offering a taste of home. The crew gathers at a fold-out table, sharing not just food but laughter and news streamed from Earth. At midday, a mandatory hour-long nap is scheduled, an old tradition carried into orbit, honoring the need for rest in a world that never truly sleeps. Exercise is non-negotiable. Each Taikonaut spends up to two hours daily on a treadmill or cycling machine, harnessed in place as Earth spins silently below. The physical regimen is strict, but it's also a defense against the slow erosion of muscle and bone in microgravity. Private sleep pods, each with a round window facing the planet, offer solitude and a moment of reflection. Here, psychological health is as carefully engineered as any system. Video calls with family, moments of meditation, and a sense of collective purpose anchor the crew through six-month rotations. In Tiangong, discipline and routine are not burdens, but the scaffolding that makes life above the world possible. Across its three modules, Tiangong is built as a laboratory first and a home second. Every wall and corridor holds the machinery of discovery. 23 experiment racks line the interiors, each a sealed chamber where gravity's absence becomes an asset. Here, Scientists study the growth of protein crystals, hoping to unlock new medicines back on Earth. In another rack, lasers flicker for quantum communication tests, probing the limits of secure data transmission through the vacuum of space. On the outer hull, more than 50 mounting points host instruments exposed to cosmic radiation, solar wind, and the extremes of temperature that only space can provide. The station's robotic arms, one stretching nearly 11 meters and a smaller, more agile twin, operate with a precision that rivals human hands. The large arm moves entire modules and heavy experimental payloads, while the smaller arm can handle intricate assembly and maintenance tasks. Together, they can even dock incoming cargo ships or reposition equipment without a single spacewalk. During the autonomous docking of the Wentian module, these arms responded to unexpected sensor feedback, shifting from automated routines to ground-controlled overrides in seconds, a demonstration of both technological finesse and fail-safe design. Tiangong's research isn't limited to China's ambitions alone. Through a partnership with the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, Experiments from Mexico, Kenya, and Peru have run alongside Chinese projects. Access is granted through a competitive process, and over a quarter of experiment time is reserved for international teams. In this orbiting lab, the tools of progress are shared, even as the station itself remains a symbol of national mastery. October 2021. A Starlink satellite drifting off its planned course, was projected to pass less than a kilometer from Tiangong. In Beijing, mission control received the alert. The risk was real. At orbital speeds, even a paint chip can puncture steel, let alone a satellite. Within hours, ground teams initiated the emergency protocol. Commands flashed to the station, and the Taikonauts braced for the maneuver. Tiangong's thrusters fired, nudging the entire station by hundreds of meters, just enough to clear the predicted path. Inside, the crew waited, calm and focused, as the world outside shifted in silence. The satellite passed harmlessly by. That night, routine resumed, 
but trust in the station's reliability had been proven, not just to the crew, but to everyone watching from below. Tiangong's future is written into its very structure. Centralized funding and long-term planning guarantee that its systems are built not just for today, but for decades ahead. Life support runs on nearly closed loops. Oxygen is regenerated from water with almost no loss, and up to 95% of water is recycled, reducing the need for constant resupply. Each module is designed for independence, with backup air and water lines ready to isolate and support the crew if needed. Expansion isn't an afterthought. The station's T-shaped frame can grow to six modules, doubling its research capacity and living space. In 2026, the Suntian Space Telescope will join this orbital network, docking for maintenance and upgrades before resuming its independent survey of the cosmos. This approach, modular, sustainable, and always ready to adapt, anchors China's presence in orbit, turning technical resilience into long-term strategic advantage. In less than 18 months, China assembled Tiangong, the only fully operational space station currently in orbit, through three synchronized Long March 5B launches between 2021 and 2022. Inside, Taikonauts live by strict routines, supported by 100% oxygen regeneration and 95% water recycling, with private quarters and advanced labs for international science. Documented events, like the station's real-time orbit adjustment to avoid debris, highlight the crew's training and Tiangong's resilience. Yet the full details of China's long-term expansion plans and the selection process for international collaborations remain classified. As the International Space Station nears retirement, Tiangong stands alone, shifting the center of orbital science and diplomacy. The evidence shows a disciplined, self-reliant approach, blending technology with human endurance. Tiangong is not just a symbol of China's ambitions, but a live demonstration that the leadership of space is changing and the next chapter is already unfolding above our heads.